need you, boo. Oh, I gotta see you, boo. Hey. And the heart's all over the world tonight. Said the heart's all over the world tonight. Hot little figure, yes, you a winner, and I'm so glad to be yours. You're a class all your own. Hello, Virginia Beauties. Welcome back to my channel. And for those who are new to my channel, I want to say welcome. And I hope you stick around for a while and join my beauty family and hit that subscribe button and that alert notification bell so you won't miss another upload because i got some really good stuff coming at you guys so i hope you stick around if you want to see more on this gorgeous hair please continue to watch today's review is brought to you or collaboration with black hairspray and they sent me out this gorgeous gorgeous unit now the colorway on this is phenomenal it's super realistic as far as the high and low lights i feel like I am California beach ready with this hair. Guys, look at this. Like, at first when I saw this, I was like, okay, there's no dark roots because it said T slash 30. So I figured it would have, you know, a dark roots as in T. But no, let me tell you what this wig is and who she's by. This is a lace front by Outre. It's a hand tied full lace wig in the style crystal. And I got it in the color 2T slash 30. It's like a netting in the back. It is heat safe up to 400 degrees. So let me go ahead and show you this box. This is the back. So this hair can be pretty much parted anywhere on this unit. 100% individually knotted strands, deep lace front, most natural looking, I guess, hairline, baby hairs from air to air, and versatile styling, updos, ponytails, buns, and it's heat friendly. Now, I'm not sure if it's a human hair blend because it's not saying that on the box, but it's very well possible it may be a human hair blend. If it is, I'll let you know in the description box below. So let me go ahead and show you that stock card. And it does have the care instructions on how to apply the wig on the back. You do have to remove the lace. It comes with soft lace, so you have to remove that from the front of the perimeter of the hairline, which is air to air. As far as the hairline, I do feel like this hairline is super natural as far as the density. Even though you guys are looking at it like this looks like a lot of hair, this wig is super lightweight. That's super lightweight. Okay, so anybody who doesn't like their hair to be weighed down, this will not weigh you down. I even forgot this was even on my head. Like, it's gorgeous. Everything about this hair is gorgeous from the beachy waves. It looks super realistic. I'm so feeling it. I'm not even caring about the fact that it's not dark rooted. I have none of my hair left out and it's boom. Look at this, guys. Look at this. You can't tell me nothing. If this looks gorgeous, I can only imagine how it looks in the other colorways, like the naturals and even some of the blondes. Like, this is gorgeous. Let me go ahead and stop babbling and let you guys get this close up and this heat on this hair, okay? So this is the hairline on this. It's pretty natural. It's not too full, too thick. So when you do put it back, it's not like humpy. We might want to do some air tag, but I didn't feel a need to like adhere it down. For the most part, it is down. Maybe not so much on this side, but it's down. You don't got to worry about when the wind blows and your hair is like, whoo, no girl. Do love this. I'm going to show you these beachy waves and the color. So this is what the color is looking like. These are the beachy waves. Now I want to say this is like almost bone straight with a slight hint of a yaki in it and it's not shiny even though it looks like it is but this is a supernatural luster and it's actually like dark as you're in here and then as you get towards the end it gets more of that 30 as you can see and this is the hair here now it can be parted wherever you want on this hair the cap starts to get black as it gets here but it is individually knotted but i think it looks more natural with the comb over method so that's probably how i will rock this i do like this in the comb over method better even though you have that option to party anywhere on this frontal so if you want to do two braids you can just keep in mind that the lace that's in the back is actually like a black lace so let me go ahead and give you that 360 so obviously the front experience some shedding unfortunately the lighter units sometimes they tend to shed more than the darker ones I guess because the process it takes to make them this light I have 
but it's not like bad. It's not shedding like a dog. As far as tingling, I did experience a little bit of tingling as you got to the ends, but just take your big comb. I would suggest taking a big comb like so and just lightly comb like you see me doing and then work your way up and you should be good to go. Cause I only literally had to do that like once, see? And work your way up and you should be good to go. A lot of long units may tangle because they're so long. Let me know what you guys think of this wig. I want to say a huge thank you to Black Hair Spray for sending me out this wig to review. Don't forget to share my videos so I can keep coming at you with more content. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And as always, stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty. Till next time. Bye. Bye.